Hey y'all, I'm Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Normally I would say, and welcome back to my Texas garden. Can't really say that today since my Texas garden is extremely wet right now. And I am coming to you from the floor in my office. I realized yesterday that it's been a minute since I posted a video, so I thought I'd pop in today, give you an update on my figs and my ginger root. And if you missed those two videos, I'll link them above for you and also down in the description box below. Now, if you're new around here, welcome. And if you're all about gardening naturally, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to smash the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. So where have I been and why on earth am I sitting on the floor in my office? So around Christmas time, we decided to do a little construction project in the house. And that is why I'm sitting on the floor. We're actually putting new floors down throughout the house. And I'll pan the camera around so you guys can see that it is gorgeous wood flooring. I'm absolutely in love with it. Now we are putting the floors down ourselves. It is an entire family project. Uh, the kids are moving big furniture around, ripping carpet up, and my husband and I are actually laying the floor down. And no, I am not filming that because, well, it looks something like this. Our house is tore up from the floor up. Seriously. Now the last time we put floors in our house was before kids. Um, it was probably about 20 years ago. I was 24 years old and in a lot better shape than I am now. And it was hard on my body then. I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> it's even harder on my body now. This back half of the house has taken us almost two weeks to do because we've had to take days off in between because we were just so incredibly sore. <sighs> so now with the front half of the house, by my guesstimate, um, it's probably going to take us another full two, maybe even three weeks to get that done because it's actually a bigger section of the house. So I'm not really looking forward to that. But... I'm really loving the results. I might not like doing the work, but the results are absolutely beautiful. So let me know in the comments below if you wanna see an after shot. And you know, maybe I can film a little bit of the floors after we're done. Okay, so I have uh, some mail here. Woo! All right, so while I was cleaning out my office, getting ready to put the floors down by my computer, I set it there as a reminder, I found a packet of seeds. Well, actually, it's just the seed packet. There's no seeds in here anymore. I planted the seeds and none of them germinated. None. And if, in case you didn't know, Baker Creek has a two-year guarantee on their seeds. So I pulled up the old order and sent an email over to Baker Creek and they took care of me. They replaced my seeds for me. And here's the new pack that I just got from them um, a couple of days ago. And they also sent me a free pack of dark opal basil. I don't have this variety, so I was really excited to get it. Thank you, Baker Creek, for taking care of me. Hopefully, these germinate for me this year because I really want to try these out. So the other thing that came in the mail are some Harvest Guard lids. Now these are the reusable canning lids that I did a review on last summer. And if you missed that video, I'll go ahead and link it for you above here. Since I did the review, I have really kind of fallen in love with the product. Um, it's very affordable and I like the fact that it's reusable unlike the little metal canning lids. So I love the fact that these are reusable and I can use them over and over and over again. They also sent me, look at this, oh my gosh, I love these. These are the red Harvest Guard lids. This is the regular white ones. This is the red ones. These are going to be so perfect for all the tomato based stuff and they sent me a couple of packages of this so I'm super excited about this. I will be doing a video on how to use these reusable lids and I'll be posting that to my cooking channel. I'll link my other channel for you right here so that you can go and subscribe to it so you don't miss any videos. We're going to do lots of canning stuff this summer. Now the update y'all have been waiting for. So 
did I actually grow some ginger root from store-bought produce? And did I actually get my fig cuttings to root? Okay, so let's start with our figs. So I'm gonna open these up. Now this has been inside, I've just left it in my uh, garden tub. And ta-da, look at that. <laughs> look at that. We have growth, y'all. Okay, so what it's, well, I'm gonna tell you what it smells like. It smells like, it smells kind of musty, kind of like, um, you know, you left the laundry in the washer too long. But we have growth. And check it out. We have, oh my gosh, look at this guy. Look at this. Can you see it? Can you see it? Ha <laughs> ha, that is a root. Um, the, it's very, it's still damp. It's not wet, but it's damp. And this is what this one looks like. So let's open him up here. Okay, the wet paper towel is fighting me. Look at that. Look at that little tap root. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> ah. You guys see that? You guys see that? It's just as cute as can be. <laughs> so there's the first one. And we can see that it's really kind of starting to wake up here. So I'm going to wrap this guy back. I'm going to put, I'm going to wrap him back up. This is almost like Christmas, y'all. You see that? I wanna show you guys something. Can you see this right here? Can you see that? That's a root. That's a root. So we've got green right here, and we've got a root coming out right there. All right, so let's open him up. Oh, y'all can see my floor, see? Isn't that nice? Okay. It took three stores to find that, and then we went back to the original store after we just, we couldn't find what we were looking for at the other three. And one of the stores, we were flat out ignored. Ignored. That's neither here nor there. All right, so what do we have here? We have got, um, that looks like a root right there. And again, we have more of those white knots where roots will come out. It's really crazy because we have a root coming out there. Um, we've got some green getting ready to pop there. And just like I said, just more of the uh, little knot. So I would say this experiment is working. We're going to pull one more out from the bottom. I did have someone ask if, um, if I had an issue with mold. And as you can see, there's no issue with mold here. Uh, this is Southeast Texas. Everything is very, very humid here, and I don't seem to have a problem with mold. Um, I think that the figs like the high humidity. I think it, uh, I think that's what I read. They like the high humidity. So we're just gonna, I'm kind of trying to go to the bottom here. Yeah, it's a lot more damp than the ones on top. It's from the bottom. And uh, let's see here. Let me get it opened up. And what do we see? And what do we see? Not a whole, whole lot. Um, you know, again, we can see some of the white specks coming out. We've got another white speck here. It's, it's really, really bumpy, and I don't want to rub my hand across it because that just seems like roots to me. So all up and down here, even up here, I, I see some stuff there. So as you can see, this experiment is working. We're about 20 days into it, and it definitely looks like I'll have some cuttings uh, to plant and sell off. So if you're interested, shoot me over an email, um, and we'll see what we have. Now on for experiment number two. This one's been going for about a month now. This has been inside with us because it's just too cold. It's in my garden tub. And any homesteader can tell you that at any point in your journey of homesteading, you're going to have some sort of critters living in a tub that is not being used. This year, I've got plants. So here is my ginger, y'all. It worked, look, can y'all see? Can you see that right there? Can you see that? Put my hand behind it. That's a little green shoot popping up. And then we have another green shoot popping up. And then we have one more starting right here. So yes, it's working. It's going a lot slower than I would like, but it's definitely working. So yay, store-bought ginger. Now I'm curious. 
um, how much ginger am I gonna get from one plant? Very, very curious. So that's my update for today. Come back later this week and I'm gonna give you the update on the garden and my garden plans for this spring and summer. They might actually kind of shock you. I'm just saying. And while you're waiting on warmer weather to get out in your own gardens, go ahead and check out these great gardening videos and I'll meet y'all over there.